That was stupid. I know it was stupid. Really stupid. Hey, I just said it was stupid. Now, today's Daily Dose of Stupid, once again, has to do with Chick-fil-A. So here's what's going on. Uh, Chick-fil-A, and we know that Chick-fil-A tends to be a favorite target of the left these days. So there's this group called Athens Earth Strike, which you have to admit, whether you like the guys or not, and politically, I'm guessing I would agree with almost nothing that they're doing. Athens Earth Strike, pretty kick-butt name. Like, that's a, a pretty good name. I'm not going to lie. The, uh, the Athens Earth Strike, it just seems to me like that would have been something that I would have gone with. Uh, but they have come out very strong against Chick-fil-A being on the University of Georgia's campus. Now, I don't like to give credit to Georgia for really anything. And I'm not talking about the state of Georgia. I'm talking specifically about the university. I'm an Auburn guy, Georgia versus Auburn, South, South's oldest rivalry. So you can imagine, I don't like coming to the defense of Georgia. But I believe that this story is important enough that I kind of have to. And the University of Georgia has had Chick-fil-A on their campus for a long time. It's been something that's longstanding, and it looks like they have no intention of just going along to get along and caving to the demands of these insane people. So Athens Earth Strike is this environmental group, and they're saying that they should uh, Chick-fil-A should be banished from all of University of Georgia's campuses. And here's their rationale. And I use the word rationale very loosely when talking about this. So here's their quote. The industrial, white supremacist, imperialist, capitalist cults of Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Seriously, somehow Chick-fil-A is white supremacist. Now, granted, I have seen them advertising, and, and I think they may have a point here. I have seen them advertising that they only use in their chicken nuggets white meat chicken. Which would suggest that they believe that white meat is superior to dark meat. I think they may be onto something. I think that Chick-fil-A may actually be white supremacists. They got a point there. How do they come up with these things? I mean, industrial, well, they are part of the fast food industry. So, yeah, they're industrial, just like literally every other restaurant on Earth. They would be industrial, yes. Uh, so, industrial, right, white supremacists, uh, imp imperialist. How are they imperialist? Is Chick-fil-A going conquering other countries? Did I miss that in the news somewhere that did did, uh, did Chick-fil-A, I don't know, invade Spain? Well, I was not looking if they just uh, if they've been conquering other nations and I haven't. It, that's escaped my notice somehow. Anyway, so they call it a capitalist cult. Well, you know, they are capitalists, just like, again, all other businesses. So uh, of Chick-fil-A and the Georgia poultry farms as a whole exemplify violence. The group added to campus reform. One of the major poultry suppliers for Chick-fil-A is Coke. Coke targets the most vulnerable per people in our immigrant communities to work as employees. Uh, factories are built in low-income communities of color. Hmm. Now, I'm not saying that that actually takes place, because I don't know, I haven't done my, my research on that particularly, but let's just pretend that it is for the moment and actually go with this argument, just for the sake of argument. What would solve the problem of a company exploiting illegal immigrants for labor. Oh yeah, stopping illegal immigration. If you want to stop companies, if you believe that companies are bad or evil and that they're just, and by the way, this does happen. I'm not saying that it doesn't. If you're thinking that these companies are all just bad and evil and it's terrible that they exploit labor and they do. And I talked about that this morning on the radio on Kevin's show. If you really think that, you know what you should be really in favor of? A border wall and border security. And stopping the tide of illegal immigrants coming across our borders. If you think that that's wrong, if you think them exploiting them because they don't have records, they don't have any standing when it comes to the United States, if you want that to go away, you know what you should be really in favor of? Border security. And so it is hilarious to me that there is this uh, there's a contradiction in the left's ideology there. So they they also say that these jobs are demoralizing. Yeah, we're working on a poultry farm is not demoralizing. I've never actually worked on a poultry farm. That's one area of agriculture that I've not really delved into much. But I've done farm work since I was a child. It's not demoralizing. It is good, honest, hard work. 
And the idea that it's somehow demoralizing or demeaning. See, these kids wouldn't get their hands dirty. These kids, you wouldn't find them with dirt under their fingernails. That's too, that's, that job in their mind is below them. And so that's why they're saying, well, these jobs are demoralizing. Like I'd ever actually touch an animal. No, this is not a demoralizing job. This is a job that provides, a, I mean, it's a billion dollar industry in the state of Alabama alone. And so I just hate the arrogant, smug attitude of these liberal kids. They're saying that these jobs are difficult and pollute the environment around them for leaving communities even worse in living conditions. There are several communities in Georgia and Alabama and across the southeast that only exist because of the poultry industry. They bring in jobs, they bring in money, they bring in uh, revenue of other kinds, human capital, that kind of thing. And those communities exist and revolve around the poultry industry. Families are able to feed themselves, put food on the table, and by the way, food on your table, thank you very much, because of the poultry industry and other ag industries. In fact, if we did not have ag industries, we would not have any other industries because people got to eat. You remember that back, if you're looking through world history, the reason that we did not have many of the industries that we have now, like electronics, because that technology didn't exist, because people didn't have time to invent those technologies because they were so worried about feeding themselves. Back when you had anywhere from 70 to 90 percent of the world's population directly in production agriculture, you didn't have a whole lot of time to sit around trying to invent new things because you were worried about feeding yourself. The fact that our ag industry is the best in the world is the reason that we are on top economically and from a technological standpoint. Because we have the ability, because we spend so much less of our income on our food than we have been in the past, we're able to spend it in other places, and that has created the very lifestyle that we have here. So Earthstrike uh, also said that this is, you want to know how I know these people are a bunch of idiots? This is their demands. No longer use styrofoam cups. Yeah, Chick-fil-A does use styrofoam cups. And you know what else they have? They have giant bins where you can go and recycle those styrofoam cups. You can actually go to their recyc recycling center and you can see that they put together these park benches, which they donate free of charge to parks all across America. They're one of the most environmentally conscious companies that there are. Let's look at their other demand. Keep promise to shift to hormone-free chicken. Again, this is how I know these guys are morons. It's against federal crime it's against federal law to inject chickens with hormones no chicken has hormones if you're going to the market and you see chickens that it says hormone free yeah that's just like all the other chickens that don't have those markings see this is people that are talking about the industry that they know nothing about this is where having an ag degree comes in handy and also in factory farming what is factory farming See, this is the thing that I've never been able to get a good answer from when it comes to environmentalists. They'll say, we have to get rid of factory farming. Well, what is factory farming? Can you define it for me? Nobody can give me a good definition for it, yet they want to ban it. Well, I don't know what it is, but I don't want it, I don't want it to be there. I don't want it to exist. Can't figure out whether or not it's actually good or not. Can't even figure out what it is. I know I just don't like it. It sounds bad. And that's the problem. This whole thing from beginning to end is based on feelings, not information, not facts. They also said, we demand that UGA stop supporting the corporation that is actively practices both gender discrimination and LGBT discrimination. How do they do that? Is it because they don't serve gay people in their store? Oh, wait, they do. Is it because they don't hire people that are gay? Oh, well, wait, wait, they, they actually do that too. Is it because they don't feed people when they do, and Chick-fil-A is famous for this, Whenever there's a natural disaster or something like that, is that because when they give out free food to disaster relief victims that they don't give it to gay people? Oh, no, no, wait, they, they don't do that either. They just pass it out to whoever shows up. How are they discriminating against gay people? Can anybody actually explain to me how that is taking place? Because so far, I've yet to get an answer for that. But that really does go back to, that's what this all boils down to. They don't like the fact that the CEO of Chick-fil-A, the former CEO, because he's now passed, may he rest in peace, you know, 
he's no longer with us, but because he and his family who run the company believe that marriage should be between a man or a woman because that's what the Bible says, somehow, even though that actually doesn't play into Chick-fil-A's business practices at all, Somehow that makes the whole company tainted, and because of that, we have to hate them. That doesn't make any sense. But again, when you're operating on feelings, making sense really isn't a concern of yours. All right, it looks like I've already stayed past my time, so we're going to have to wrap it up for today. I, I hate that we didn't get to the chaplain's report. Uh, believe me, we're going to have a full show tomorrow, I promise. I don't have any prior engagement, so, uh, you know, barring some kind of natural disaster or something crazy like that, we will have a full show tomorrow, I promise. I will see you then. Thank you so much for your time. Stay the course, friends. <laughs> Oh, hey, what are you still doing here? Video's over. I'm off the clock, so go watch another one of my videos or something. Or better yet, you could subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. And if you do that, then you'll get a notification when I actually am on the air and you can watch me then. In the meantime, I'm going to take a nap.